I'll take this one and, um... Have you any buns or sausage rolls or something? Sorry, sir. The baker doesn't deliver till 9.30 or so. How about some apples? They're good eaters. All right, then. Two pounds of apples, please. That'll be four and six. Hey, what do you think you're up to? I'm hungry, David. Can't we stop here and have something? You're always hungry. What about those apples? There's still some left in your bag. I want some tea. I'm sick of apples, aren't you? Well, yes, but I don't think we ought to stop here. Well, there's nobody in there. We needn't stay long. All right. Just this once, then. Sophie, what are you and Carl talking about? I asked him about getting muddled and whether that did happen to people. He asked me a lot of questions, and then he said that it did happen to some people, but not to me. And then he said that there was something that I'd forgotten that I have to remember, and that when I do remember it, I won't feel muddled anymore. Was it something about finding your parents dead? That. Something else. Bear up, come on. We've got to get our bus. <laughs> hey, Mike. What's the matter, Harry? Eh? Fares, please. All the way, please. To the Patterdale. Thank you. I was looking forward to that tea. You've left your bag. No, I've got it here. No, your handbag. But I haven't got it. Yes, you had it at the cafe. Oh, yes, I, I left it on the chair. I The young man spotted you, the one at the tea place. Well, what are we going to do? They'll comb the lakes, but we shan't be here. We'll cut across to Liverpool. They got on the Patterdale bus? Yes. About ten minutes ago. Right, sir. The main party's gone up the hill with a wireless van, sir. Straight ahead. Good. Thank you. Straight on. Travel light now. This is rough country. We don't use the roads, not by daylight. Watch out. All right. Well, it says all right. Anything interesting in it? No, nothing that they couldn't have bought anywhere. No, there wouldn't be. Right. We've made three rings of police. This is where we found the bag, so we know they've come through the outer ring. There's only one way they can go, to the mountain. When they do that, we've got him. He's got out of tighter places than that. I believe you want him to get away. Well, I'm sounding the tally here this time, but I tell you, quite frankly, I hope I don't get the brush. Out. They've been sighted towards Copley's Wood.
thought I saw Jess. No, Sophie, you didn't. Come on, dear, we've got to get moving. All right, now. That wasn't Jess you saw. I thought it was for a moment. I was so frightened. Because I remembered. Remembered what? And that's how it was when I saw my mother and father. Someone was there with a gun. I thought you found them first. That's what Jess said. She always explained it that way. She said I'd had a shock and thought I saw someone. That's what I remembered in the woods just now. I wasn't muddled. Someone was there with a gun. Who was it? Was it Jess? I don't know. I can't remember. The night that Hick was killed, you didn't even see him, did you? No, but they tried to make me think I did. You believe me, don't you? Yes, Sophie, of course I believe you. But then I'm not the police. Okay, flycatcher. Message understood. Out. The helicopter chap says there's no sign of anyone in Copley's Woods. Huh? Black mark, flycatcher. Helicopter reports couple seen near Sourmilk Gill, sir. Telephone Keswick. Tell them to send all mobile reserves to the bottom of Sourmilk Gill immediately. Priority one. Yes, yeah, sir. This must be Sourmilk Gill. Well, if we follow this waterfall down, it takes us to a narrow track which leads us to the main road. Keswick Section Station here. Message 1350. Superintendent requests all available mobile patrols. Yes. Concentrate north of Sour Milk Gill. Sophie, we've just got time to jump for it before they see us. Do you think you can make it? I can't go with it too long. All right. Never mind. You see that ledge down there? Get in there and make yourself as small as you can. What are you going to do? I'm going to draw them off. Give me your ring. After they've gone and when it's dark, make your way back to the lakeside where we got off the bus. Remember? Wait for me there. Suppose they may catch you. They won't. I'll come for you, I promise. Lakeside, where we got off the bus. See you tonight. Be careful. I will.
Where's the girl? She's not here. Oh, good. She's got away. Which way? Well, that's your worry. Well, we got Summers. The girl won't be much trouble on her own. You better move the men to the other side of the gully as quick as you can. Is that wise? If she got away on that side and Summers wouldn't leave her behind, there's no point in a whole lot of men standing around on this side. How bad is Summers? They say he's broken a couple of ribs and he may have fractured an ankle. policeman and slug the driver, I suppose. Come on. I told you. I'm very glad you didn't, because we've got to take things into our own hands now. And the first thing is you've got to have a talk with Jess. With Jess? It'll be all right, only on the telephone. I think they're coming through. Hello? Hello, Jess? Oh, where are you? Oh, no, I see. Why are you telephoning? I need help, Jess. To get away. Abroad. Where are you? You did very wrong to run away, Sophie. You must give yourself up to the police, mustn't you, Sophie? No, I need help, Jess. Things aren't quite the same any longer. Tell me you've started remembering. I don't get muddled anymore. What do you want? No, that's too much. I haven't got it. Two hundred. Yes, all right. How can I bring it to you? No, no, the post wouldn't be safe. I'll bring it to you myself. All right, Jess. Yes, all right. I'll be at... Five Coronation Way, Liverpool. Five Coronation Way, Liverpool. Thursday, three. Yes, Coronation, Thursday afternoon, three o'clock. You won't fail me, will you, Jess? No, I won't fail. Supposing she brings the police? I don't think she will. Anyway, it's a chance we've got to take. 